Happy Floss Tube Friday, friends. My name is Carrie. This is Tiger Lily Designs. Welcome to Floss Tube, episode number 96. Welcome. If you're here for the first time, welcome. My channel is about cross stitch, quilting, knitting, basically everything in the world of fiber arts. Today is the Friday after market. I am back. It's been two weeks. I took last week off because I was in the middle of market fun, but here we are, and I've got a little two-week recap for you. So settle in, grab your stitching, grab something to drink, and let's dive in. So as I love to do, I love to run through a little table of contents to let you guys know what we're going to chat about today. Spoiler alert, there's a lot of market to chat. So as everybody knows, if you've been here for a while, you know I went to Nashville Needlework Market for the first time last week. Oh, Gosh, she was so fantastic. So there's gonna be lots of market chit chat. There's we're gonna be talking about some of the designs, um, the things I did, the vacation, all the things. Market. There are two whips. I have. It's been two weeks. You think I would have a ton more stitching to show you, but you know, no. Um, but I do have some whips to share with you. Progress that I have made in the last two weeks. Some lovely haul, stitchy kindness, all the things. When I'm down at market, seeing my friends in person, in real life, you know, you make friends on Instagram and on the socials and then YouTube, all the things, but seeing them in real life is a whole nother ball of wax. So much fun. And so there's a lot of stitchy kindness and gifts and things that I want to share with you as well and related. So let's just dive in. So for the first, we're going to dive into the stitching, not to like get it out of the way, but because there's really not too much to share with you. So as you know, I have a birthday start, um, Ann Richardson by my sister Sampler. Let me pull out. So I did put her away for a little bit because some of my friends were having a hard time getting at the chart, but it is, she's out and she's ready to go. So much fun. We're going to talk about it. I got to meet sister Sampler. Okay. So anyway, so this is my stitching. So this is my sister Sampler, Ann Richardson. Yes. Tiger Lily made me do it was a very common thing that I heard at, um, market but i did get some more stitches in on her since last time i was here i did not iron her so sorry about that but this is where i am right now she is coming along if i just gave her some dedicated i'm kind of spreading it out because i don't want her to be done i do want her to be done because then she's going to hang in my studio and it's going to be fantastic because she's beautiful and pink so i am stitching her on she's on 36 count x ju baby sheep I'm using the called for Vicky Clayton silk pack, which is fantastic. You can hear it rattling around. I keep it in one of these. This is one of those clover clip wonder boxes that I got when I order um, a whole bunch of clover clips from Amazon. You sometimes get one of these boxes and I, I, I keep them all to organize all the things. So there's the spools of Vicky Clayton. Those are fantastic. You know, there's going to be so much floss left over. Like I said, I'm almost done. You can't even tell that I've used the thread. So that's wow is really is what it is. I will have to figure out what else I'm going to use this for. I do have it. Look at this sweet little. So in my little bag, I um, talked about this before, but I thought it would be fun because a lot of these alphabets, not a lot. The alphabet is one letter per color. Mm -hmm. So we talked about that I basically um, decided to, to use, give this project bag its own set of needles. So there's all these different needles in here. And then I'm using one of my gorgeous Adam Hart, um, floss bobbins, and I'm just tying all my loosey goosey threads on one. Cause there's only like, I don't know, eight, nine colors. So that, and then of course, I mean, could this match perfectly? My sweet friend at Nicole Sport made this for me. She's a pa professional paper carter, which means she makes like Anyway, great. I'll link her down below, but she made me this adorable, uh, it's a, this, this felt dye situation. Listen, I love it. And this tie. So this, it matched perfectly with Anne. So I had to use it and throw it in the bag as well. So that was the progress I have made on Anne. She is close. I could probably finish her this week if I wanted to, but do you want to? I don't know. Cause then it would be over. And then I have to have another, uh, then I already have two things that I need to get into the framing, like pull out my miter saw and get the zzz, zzz framing thing done. But maybe that one's that's going to tip the edge and I'm actually going to do it. My second um, whip. Yeah, there's only two whips, but then there's lots of other stitchy goodness. So don't worry. We're going to have tons of fun. Um, this is in my Project Keeper from October. 
it's housing two projects, which is fantastic. So this is not the one I worked on. That is Shelly's double nickel birthday style. Didn't work on that one, but I did have, my intention was for this to be a leap year new start. But on the 29th, I was sitting down in market. I brought it. We didn't stitch a lick in market. So I started it after I got home. So, you know, in the general vicinity of a leap year new start. But anyway, it was supposed to be a quick little stitch. And again, it probably will be. This is um, Sing After the Storm. This was a kit that Shelly got for us to stitch together from Evertotes. It was kitted up with Roxy Floss Co. All the yummy Ro mm -hmm. Hot Mess Express. Roxy Floss as well as the linen. They give you this... Fat eighth, I think is what it is. But look how tiny. So this is two nights of stitching. It's coming along. It's going to be so sweet. This is 36 count and it was the color dyed for a sing after the storm or after the rain, after the storm. Um, So sweet. So you will see, I mean, it's this is a tiny little thing, right? So I'm working on that. Like I said, this is two nights of stitching in combination with some knitting because I do squirrel a little bit at night. Um, I get most of my stitching done at night, like between that afternoon before you go to bed early, but I do go to bed early because I get up early. So anyway, um, not a ton, probably about two hours. I got people that ask me all the time, well, what does that really mean? Does it mean like half a day? No, it does not. It means like maybe two hours, maybe three if I clean up dishes early and all the things, you know, like, and I, oh, and I stay up late and I'm not knitting, all the things. So about two hours, two nights, that's what that worked on. So that is my stitching. That's actually like I put needle in the fabric and the stitching and all the things. I know. But don't worry, the table is covered with fun, fun, fun goodness. So before we get too far along, I want to just... I'm going to be, I feel like I'm going to ping pong, ping pong. Yeah. I'm going to be all over the place. It's okay. Um, I'll tell you a little bit of market story, like what I did, what I did, all the things. Now I, I'll just, true confessions here with Carrie. I am, I have the best of intentions, best of intentions of bringing you along the market. Didn't happen because I was just in the moment with all the friends and I just get, I just get in the moment and I'm having fun and I'm seeing all the people and doing all the things. And, and then I forget, oh, pickles. I didn't take pictures. I didn't take video. I didn't do any of that. I mean, I did a little, little bit, but certainly not what um, I wanted to. But that's okay. I was in it. I lived it. I loved it. I'm going to tell you a story. No visuals, but I'll tell you a story. Um, but I do want to circle back on one more thing before we get into the market stuff on the table. Remember, I am also doing the beanie along. So Tiger Lily, we're doing a beanie along. Did I bring my other beanie? No, I didn't as I look on the table. But look what, yeah. This is the beanie that I officially started with the beanie along. And I finished it since last time we were here. So there's that. This is beautiful sugar rush. Yay, I remembered. By Stitching With Yarn, my friend Christy on Etsy. She has an Etsy shop. I will link her down below. But this is her beautiful, doesn't it just look like, reminds me of like Easter eggs. Um, It's going to be great. Not that I hopefully don't need a beanie on Easter, but you know, you don't know. Um, So this is the beanie I have finished last week prior was um, the fourth week of the Beanie Along. All the tutorials are out and there's a YouTube and there's a playlist and all the things. So if you want to join, if you never knit before, like I've got this whole thing from start to finish, um, it, all of it, you can get the pattern access via my Patreon, which is the totally free part of the Patreon. So you don't have to worry, like it's not a fee thing. So you can go and get the PDF and download. It's a three page, like super wordy, complicated, there's, not, there's math, math, because it's a custom beanie for your head. It's not a pattern that is written for like, for you just to follow. You take the measurements of your head and your head this way. So I know week four was a little challenging because it is the crown decrease. So I have heard from some friends, there's two different kinds of the things. There's some that have totally finished it. Yay. There are finished beanies out in the world. Um, so, you know, lot that's so fantastic. I, I just, it feels my heart that, you know, guys, people, Stitcher, friends that had never touched, love yummy yarn. I mean, we love color, right? So they were, they were like, ah, oh, and they did it and they have a beanie and it's perfect. I mean, it's not perfect. It's, 
it's your first painting. So give yourself grace. If you have a little oopsie daisy, little wonky do, that's okay. Um, but there's so many things out there. I am helping some of my friends, you know, math is hard. Counting's hard, math is hard. So, you know, getting to this final decrease section is a little tricky. Um, check out the Patreon. I am going to figure out if we need to have a come together live one more time for week four, or if anybody who has questions has emailed them to me or messaged them to me um, and we've answered them. We'll just see how it goes from there. I don't know what's next. Um, to be honest right now, the April Keeper Club has taken over the studio and so I'm not quite sure there's enough bandwidth for me to do another like knit along project with me at least not in this current future like right now it's because whoo overwhelming so we're just gonna figure it out we're gonna go by you know maybe you just need to make knit another beanie um but I do have some knitting and I have some fun to share with you so without further ado let's dive in Okay, so I'm not really sure how exactly this is going to go. I'm just going to kind of probably ramble and tell you a little bit of story, a little bit of all the things that I did. It's not going to be in any kind of order. It's not going to be a chronological. Maybe I'll start that way, but my guess is I'm going to zig and zag and not really stay on point because I know how things work. So, you know, I went down to market. Fantastic. I, I got my, um, I was able to go to market because of my subscription box. I have... If you don't know, I have a Keeper Club subscription box. This is my Keeper, right? It's my original pattern. And then I do a quarterly Keeper Club box that where I include three to five stitchy notions, things, goodies, all the things in the box. And so that was my goal. My goal was to go down there and find things for the box. Um, I do our April box is done. July box was almost done. But there's always next year, there's the Advent box. And so I wanted to see what there was to see. So, um, my friend Shelly from Antique Needleworkers raised her hand. Well, actually, I mean, it didn't have to drag her much. She was so excited to help and be a Keeper Club curator specialist with me. And we just walked around looking for the next thing that needs to go in the box. There were so many different things in market. It was just overwhelming. But so it drove down. I drove down by myself. It's about a 10 hour drive from where I live. So it's a little long. Now, if you've been here for a while, you know that Carrie has had zero out of three success with traveling to a stitchy event. My first one was StitchCon. My battery died. I had to replace the battery. It was for my car. I drove a hot mess. The second one was going to Chantel's. I got stuck in Michigan for a whole 24 hours period trying to come home. Fail number two. And then fail number three was going out to Amana at Farm Girl Drive Goods. I sat in Dig Reagan Airport for about 10 hours because two flights were delayed. But the curse has been broken or the streak has been broken. I don't know. The moral of the story is knock on wood. I made it to and from Nashville Market without issue. Yay! I mean, it was 10 hours. So it was long and boring and there was lots of singing. This is what I, when I'm driving in the car, I'm like, for, I, I think it's like between podcasts. I listen to a lot of business podcasts, kind of weird, but I listen to a lot of business podcasts, um, small business, been in small business for 15, 20, 19 years, whatever, long time. Um, I will, I'm a sponge. I absorb all the things that I can. Um, and so I listen to that, but then sometimes that gets a little, and then you have to turn on whether it's 90s country or 80s rock something that is going both both of those were in on the playlists um whether it's you know what, what I'm singing one of those as I got to turn it up loud and sing along I was just afraid that I was going to get to market and not have a voice and they would think I was sick but it's not because I was sick it's because I have to sing along to keep myself awake driving by myself for 10 hours anyway drove down to Nashville fantastic drove down on Wednesday because I knew the day was going to just drain me and Shelly and I had made a plan with our friend Sylvia running with needles and scissors that we were going to enjoy the Franklin antique environment on Thursday. So we got there Wednesday. It was fantastic. We went to dinner um, with Sylvia and her friend Miriam who came to be her helper. So the four of us went to dinner. It was super great. We had Thai and pie. Mm -hmm. No pictures. Yeah, we just <laughs> Thai food and key lime pie. 
what a great fit. What a great match. Um, I think that was the night we ended up trying to, we were like started to put Sylvia's room together. It was so fantastic. So you walk into Embassy Suites. When you walk in on Wednesday, it's a lot more low key because I would say there's about 20% of the designers or the, the vendors that show up that early to get themselves set up, give themselves the time, all the things. Sylvia said that was fantastic because the year before she'd come in on Thursday when it's like, what? Crazy time. So Wednesday, it was very low key, which was fantastic. We did that. So then Thursday, we did the antique. Now, of course, I didn't bring over the things. I didn't, I wasn't the big winner. Some of my shopping friends were big winners. I'm not going to spoil what they got. That's for them to tell you or not. But, um, I ended up getting a sewing machine drawer that was repurposed. It's already like over set up in my studio. It's so adorable. You just never know. Like you can always use an, a, a beautiful, it's beautiful. I can see it. I'm pointing at it. You can't see it, but it's over there. It's this beautiful oak, um, tiger oak sewing machine drawer. Well repurposed, refurbished. It's going to hold all kinds of gorgeous bits and bobs. I always grab frogs like those flower frogs because I am hooked on um, Liz Matthews trees. And so I got two clear ones, not too exciting, but I did bring this one to show you too because I almost had a market start. I mean, not at market, but when I got home and so, um, yeah, but look, look at this. <gasps> this is, it's almost... Now I'm new to collecting glass, but if you know pink is my jam, but orange is a close second, go tigers, right? So carnival glass, like I said, totally new to collecting depression glass. It really has nothing to do with floss too, but we're gonna go with it. It's this beautiful orangey tone um, flower frog that I found. And I knew that Liz had a new release at market that had oranges on it, right? And it's a tree. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. But oh my gosh, is this not like, they were made to go together. This this gorgeous frog, orange, I need to stitch Liz's tree and do the things, all the things. So that was basically what I got antiquing. Yeah, some flower frogs and my drawer and my orange frog, fantastic. So we did that and then that was Thursday. I'm trying to think what else we did. We punched around, did some things. It was so fun. We went back and 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 put the final touches on Sylvia's room. Her, her room was gorgeous. I I was so honored to be a part of her setup team and and seeing all of her models. That was, you know, step one. She's got gorgeous, gorgeous models. And as everyone says, broken record here, but it is true. Models, I mean, the, the photographs, no matter how well you try. And as a person who tries to share on Instagram and share the things, I know how hard it is to for, photography things, to photograph things and get their true interpretations. But really, it's just, it's just amazing how much more vibrant and lively a model is. It's anyway, so we did that. And then Friday, um, Shelly and I, we were going to play, you know, Sylvia stayed there. She was getting ready because market started at four o'clock on Friday. And so Friday morning, we punched around. We went to an antique store. It was in, it was a B town, <laughs> not from Tennessee. I don't remember. It wasn't that far. It was basically between Franklin and Nashville, which Nashville, this is, even though it's called the Nashville Needlework Market, it's not in Nashville, right? We're not going down to the honky tonk, although that would have been super fun. I've never been to Nashville. I feel like it would be a super fun, like, girls weekend trip, but I never went to the downtown area, and I know that this is in Franklin, which is suburbia, like half an hour, I think. I don't know, but we got about halfway there. There's this beautiful, another antique mall, didn't get anything. I do believe that Shelly scored a couple things there too. Maybe not. I don't remember. But it's always fun to just treasure hunt. You never know what you're going to find. Um, I love treasure hunting. I love, you know, when you go into one of those antique malls, it's either going to be like super like, you be crazy thinking that, that somebody's going to pay that. Or you find the deal of the day. And, you know, it's just fun. Treasure hunting is always fun. And you see so many unique things. Anyway, so we had so much fun, but our goal was, is we wanted to, as yarnies, as knitters, we also wanted to hit up a local yarn shop. So we did. I've got my haul for you. Okay. Yep. No more. This is from Bliss Yarns. So we walked into Bliss Yarns, like basically right when they opened and who do we run into? 
<laughs> Elizabeth Ann can stitch. It was so, of course, a fellow Yarny who was in town for a market, but we didn't we need to get into the hubbub of Friday's setup. We, she was there buying all the things. She shared great pictures of the yarn shop. So we chatted with her for a bit, but then, so let me just show you some of the things that I got. Um, now this, I had been eyeing, this is called Making Tracks. It's by Junction Fiber Mills. Gorgeous, gorgeous, hand spun. Ugh, I mean, for real. So my friend, Rachel from Floss Toss, who is that's her floss toss. Treehouse Fiber Arts is her other YouTube channel. She's got two YouTube channels. But follow her on Instagram. She finished the Traveler Shawl by Andrea Mallory in this colorway. In this, it, and this is called Vermont Vice. And it was so, I mean, I had almost just ordered it online. But oh my gosh, I am so glad that I was able to see it in person. Because truly, Shelly and I pulled, I'm going to say... They had 10 to 12 different skeins of yarn. It's hand spun, so that's all different. Some of these, you can see, and it's got quite the collection of colors, right? Pink, pink, shocker. Pinks and purples and teals and golds and all the things. Well, some of the hanks were like super gold and some of the hanks were super teal. And so I wanted to find two that I thought, I mean, none of them were gonna matchy match match because that's not the, that's not the idea of hand spun. And, but they played nice. They coordinated enough. You can see this one's got a little more teal and a little bright, and this one's a little darker. But anyway, it took us a while. I might be a little picky, but we picked it out, and I'm going to be doing the Andrea Mallory Traveler Cowl, not the full shawl. I'm not quite sure if I'm a shawl like all the time girl, but I love the idea, not in March, but next winter when it's snowy and it's time to walk the dogs you know one of those it's a cowl it's a v-neck v-neck a v bandana -y type cowl super cute i'm sure i'm gonna show you as i knit it but i i totally got this with that in mind two skeins beautiful and of course while we were there we also decided we needed to get something matchy matchy because that's always fun so we we had best of intentions of knitting socks now remember the sock drama of it all there's really no update on that there was no time for that I'm going to have to wait and get my my sock heel tutorial via YouTube, via YouTube, via FaceTime with Shelly once or just wait until I go back out to Ohio in April or May sometime soon. But we needed to get um, the per we needed to get a pair of matching socks because it's fun because um, I'm going to be a sock knitter. Come come you know, or high water, I'm going to do it. And so this is self-striping mustache yarns. So sweet. Love a good self-striping because then you get the fun and the color and it's not boring. Not that it's boring, but it's fun. Like, ooh, new color. And you don't have to do anything. You don't have to change colors. You don't have to tie off. You don't have to change colors. Like that's a whole nother thing. Um, and then two other things we got. This what had just come in. My goal when I go yarn shopping is to always find something local. I love to find local indie dyers right there in town. And it took me a while to find it. And the, you know why? Because it was behind the counter and it had just come in. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. My mama taught me how to chit chat with people at the register. And so we did. And behind the counter was this Dusk to Dawn Fibers, hand dyed in Nashville, Tennessee. Check, check, exactly what I wanted. It is this beautiful, beautiful colorway. Now we ended up getting, Shelly and I got matching. We got a DK, which is fantastic. But look at the movement on that. So I don't know. I think it was going to be a cowl, a shawl. I don't know how to little lace work. We'll see. But it's beautiful. It's my Tennessee yarn. And then also while I was there, I got this beautiful, I mean, does that not just scream tiger? Lily? Yeah. Orange, purples, a little bit of hot pink. Um, yes, please. Holly Dye Works. It's the colorway. I think this was local adjacent. Um, so this was going to be my local thing until we talked to the lady behind the counter. Anyway, had to get this. This is just a little mini skein set that she is calling her Jane Eyre collection. I don't know what it's going to be, but I just thought it was super, super sweet. So that was my yarn haul. Let me dive into what's next. Okay, so that was Friday. So the market opened at four o'clock. So we we were there, you know, a little before four, ready and, and excited to see the things. And it was just, we were just going to take our time. It's 
four floors, two, three, four, and five of the embassy suites. And so we just decided we were going to just start on floor two. I think that's where we started. And we were just going to, you know, walk around and see what there is to see. Yes, there were some shops or some designers in some rooms that were like, oh my gosh, we have to see them. But the goal of my visit to market was to discover things I didn't know I wanted to see, right? So unfortunately, or maybe not unfortunately, I can't tell you. I mean, that's where I'm in the surprise. The whole thing about my Keeper Club boxes is that the goodies in the, inside them are a surprise. You didn't know you needed them until I found them and shared them with you. And so... I can't spoil them for you. So let me just say that it was a great success. It was a great success. Market was fan exactly what I wanted it to be in that I have walked away with lots of ideas, lots of cards and pictures and contacts. And I've already been in negotiate like design original Keeper Club exclusives are coming with some of these fantastic small businesses and designers that I was fine that I found at market. It's not the big ones. Maybe you've heard of them, but it's certainly not the the OGs, the big girls, the big guys, the big the big players of a market. That's not what I was there to see. I was there to find the new upcoming small and I think I did. And I'm so excited for some of the things that we're working together. I mean, I would walk into this room and I would, I would like you know, tell them what I was about, tell them see if we, maybe we were a good fit for each other and when we were a good fit it was fantastic. So again, I can't ruin the surprise for you. And I'm sorry that my story kind of ee -ee -ee because that would ruin it. So I'm not going to do it. But I am going to share with you some of the things that as I was walking around, of course, I'm not going to skip these rooms. I am there. As I just said, seeing the models in person was such a honor, such a privilege I felt and so I wanted to take advantage and see the models and just say hi and just so it was amazing I saw lots of things met so many wonderful people that is what I walked away from this market with a super excited over the top excited about the things that I'm going to bring to you in the box step one right step two was your your cup is overflowing with the amount of kindness and joy and sincereness and just happy people right in this community like I'm not gonna cry about it it's okay but it was just I won't even say like a hotel full of love because there, I mean listen there's lines and people are working and it's busy and it's stressful and like wow but everyone was so nice like if you could just take that bubble and uh, anyway, fantastic. But I do want to share with you some of my favorites. I did get, I do have some charts here because some of my friends are super generous and, um, you know, I just want to share some of their fantastic charts with you. So as I, as I said, we, I was honored to be part of Sylvia running with Caesar, running with needles and scissors, her table setup team, like oh, getting her little room. She shared a room. It's not barefoot landing because that's what I always call it, but it's barefoot needle arts. Fantastic, fantastic couple. They were there. They they have a shop down in Myrtle Beach, Polly's Island, Surfside, down there in South Carolina. Love me some South Carolina, right? And they were so sweet. They had not only charts, but gorgeous fabrics. Fantastic. So they shared a room with Sylvia. So I got to meet them, love them. But like I said, I helped Sylvia and I was, she gifted me two of her charts and I just wanted to share it to you from two of her releases. So this is her, this is her big girl. Um, I'm not quite sure what she affectionately calls it, but I'm going to call it the big girl because she is big. She, it was 404 by 404. Yes, ma'am. All day. Okay. So gorgeous. I'm not even going to go, I'm not going to broken record about the models and how gorgeous they are. But what I do want to tell, like the whole thing, gorgeous. This is a commitment. This is like a four year. Could have been your leap year new start. Could have been. Maybe. But I see, look, it's, it's almost like this is a band right here. Okay, this is adorable. And also, see these two little people? There's a, there's a, you have to go watch Sylvia. I will link her down below. She has a market release video on her floss tube channel where she goes into depth, shows you the models. It's, it's much better than the, you know, the, the 
Not that the chart cover's not pretty, but the model's so much prettier. And she tells you, she explains the history behind this, this sampler, which is gorgeous, as well as, see the two, there's a little dude, little dude, and his little grape wreath, and, and a little lady in a grape wreath. And there was like this whole story with Queen of Queens. I don't remember, but it was a fantastic. And then... So she, what she did is she recognizes that not everybody's cup of tea is a giant big girl. And so she charted these two cutie pies together as a separate chart. Fantastic. Love it, love it, love it so, so much. And of course, look, look at the orange flower. Like this right here, this will be such a cute little pillow. I mean, of course, I'm a little, an orange urn with an orange flower. Of course I love it. Like that could be a small... How cute would that be as a little small for a, an exchange, a retreat exchange? So sweet. That's what I love. I love looking at these motifs. Look at this little bird in a fountain thing. And of course, you always have to go a good peacock. It's always it's a mark of a good sampler. If I'm just kidding. I love it. But if there's a funky, a funky peacock. Anyway, this was her HW1852 404 by 404. But my favorite, the gorgeous, my favorite, A, because it's gorgeous, and B, because it's going to be a little more manageable to do, that Sylvia release, I'm taking it out of the plastic so you can see it in it all its glory, is her note of love, Hannah Rome. <gasps> okay, first of all, gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at those sweets. So there are three, six, nine, twelve colors. And she charged them in Vicky Clayton silks again. So there's a Vicky Clayton silk pack. Love that. You just go to Vicky's site, click add to cart, and they all come. Awesome. The little spools. I remember that I showed you like from Ann Richardson. So, so sweet. All the different colors. And it just, the red, I'm here for it. I don't think the original, I don't think her, no. <sighs> okay, but first of all, I can't show, oh, she does show you the original. <gasps> oh, oh, okay. Hold on. Let me figure out how, I can't show you the chart. So, Sylvia was brilliant and looked at that and thought, well, that's cute. How can I pop it up enough? How can I pop it up a notch? And she popped it up by charting it and putting it on red. She stitched it on Picture This Plus Tango, which is a gorgeous color. I will tell you that um, Shelly and I are going to be stitching this and we have a different fabric. I don't have it handy right this second, but we are going to be stitching this. I'm going to um, tell you more details about it later, but it's just so, so sweet. And I just love it on the red. It would look great on pink too. I mean, wouldn't it? It would. But I'd have to change some of the colors because some of the threads are pink. Hmm. I've got time to maybe noodle that. So, so fun. So that was Sylvia's, two of Sylvia's. She's got gorgeous. Like I said, go check out her. Um, she has a video that shows you all of her releases. As everything, remember there's a lot of, this could be like totally broken record. Contact your local needle workshop. A lot of these are exclusive to the shops that, that went to market until April. I think that's what Sylvia said, that, that hers are not going to go to Hoffman until April 1st. And so you have to find a, a needle workshop that went there that can get those from her until then. So there's that. Um, another one of my favorite rooms. And of course, you know, Liz lives just across the river. So there is no excuse. <laughs> We should be getting together more, but we are both so busy. Um, as you know, one woman businesses. She's she's got her husband helping her, so that's fantastic. But we we we're juggling, wearing all the hats, juggling all the balls, doing all the things. But we just need to make time. I need to be more intentional with time. And I talked to Liz about that when we when I went in her room. Her room was gorgeous. Oh, so beautifully set up. Okay, so you see. I just want you to know. So you see, like, okay, this is the one I was talking about. Where'd my little thing? Okay, this one. <gasps> right? Okay, but do you see this this motif, this little vignette that she creates? I mean, first of all, gorgeous. Um, so so sweet. But she her entire room had that aesthetic, had that vibe, had the the little buttons and the the vintage linens and the she made this cute little vintage banner hanged. I mean details it's not just like here are my 12 stitches or however many i mean she had her new releases as well as her some of her older stuff her her 
fan favorites. Um, but she just created these three tables of vignettes that were just gorgeous. The aesthetic, you feel like you walking into this, you're walking into her pictures. It's gorgeous. I loved it. So I just want to show you some of Liz's charts. Like I said, this is the one. So this little, so little, little orange bowl. Remember me sampler and tree, but I just, I remember this was for a guild. I think the Delaware Valley. I don't remember the story. Of course, I watched her release video. So this was a previous release for a guild or something. But I, of course, I saw it and I was like, oh, look at the oranges and the trees. So this is this. Mm -hmm. I should just stitch that up. Look at these split, right? I mean, it's just so sweet. Look at the deers and the squirrels and the thing. I mean, this would stitch up. The tree would be so, so cute. Okay, so sweet. And of course, I don't know what her bestseller was, but I'm going to tell you that she had this, this beauty set up in its own, it had its own vignette. It should have had like its own spotlight. <laughs> it was like, mm-hmm. <gasps> da, 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 da. Spring house. Now, you know, I love the pumpkin house. I have that. I'm stitching it. I did a Forbidden Fiber Co. like Carrie makes it bright. Um, floss conversion. Oh, so gorgeous. Now this is stitched on night sky linen and cypress linen, both from fiber on a whim. So, so beautiful. So, so sweet. So that is spring house. Now I'm not going to take everything out of the bag. Oh, you'll be here forever. She also, of course, you know, I, I'm just going to add this. I'm, I'm going to get these things done. I love the 10 days of Christmas. Um, this is the 10th day. She brought cutie pie Santa involved. Okay, so this one, I have kitted up. <laughs> okay, and this was going to be my new start this week, but then I decided to squirrel with the best of them, and I worked on the heel of, no, the toe of my sock. It's not yet done yet, so I don't have it to show it to you. But this one, I thought, of course, so I looked at this cotton tail, and I was like, oh, so sweet. But wouldn't it be sweeter if the bunny was pink? Yes, it would. I mean, listen, everything's better if it's pink in my world. So I pulled out, this is, it's like a dark gray. I think it's from a grab bag, like a fabric swatchy grab bag from Color and Cotton I got once. But I thought, because I loved this, this was an evergreen, like a greeny fabric. It was new this the, at market. But I was like, okay, so take the pink and gray. Fantastic. Okay, and so I pulled these beautiful Forbidden Fiber Co. colors. These were part of my July Keeper Club box. But any, like, pick your favorite pink. Because wouldn't the, I loved this bunny. First of all, it was like this big. Kia B is like a master 56 counter ginor. I mean, seriously, I, I had to, I didn't bring a magnifying glass, but the stitches I couldn't even begin to see. But it was basically like three tones of blues. I think she charts it. Yeah, she charts it in seven colors of blue, but obviously I've just pulled three and I'm just going to go with it. It's going to be a light pink bunny. How sweet is that? Does it not make you think of like a peep? So adorable. Um, Pink bunny on the ground. It would also look cute on neutral. So I haven't started, but these also go perfectly with this one. Oh, so how cute would that be? This is another one of her new ones. You've got the love. Okay, see the love pillow right there? Or this little, I love them both, pun intended. But I think both of those would also be fantastic in gray fabric with pink floss because, yes, everything's better when it's pink. <laughs> if you're with me, you're with me. And then last but not least, I do believe, let me make sure I've just got it. Yeah. Last but not least is this sweetie pie, a buzz at midnight. This was so sweet. This looked gorgeous in person. This is on a gorgeous new fabric by Fiber on a Whim. Sapphire, I think is the name of the color. Awesome. And Miss Bridgen stitched it. She's so fun. I've been watching her. Now Bridgen is the museum stitcher. And so she was in Liz's room. So fun. She came to be a um, shop helper. It was so lovely to see her again in person. We met last year at StitchCon. Love her. She is just the sweetest little pie ever. And then of course, Liz from Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch was also in Liz's room. So next door was her mom, which is also just like, 
you know, apple doesn't far far from the tree because beautiful. The aesthetic and the tablescaping. And listen, I I just appreciate like looking at models are gorgeous, stitching's gorgeous. She had her jewelry there. I had to restrain from getting a piece wasn't on my to buy list, but oh my gosh, so gorgeous. And I, the one of a kind and the hand, every gorgeous, period. Um, but just the tablescaping and the, the attention to detail that every little scissor or, you know, like I said, a bundle of buttons, vintage buttons, over the top, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, Kathy was the sweetest little thing ever. Um, so sweet, loved her. And then in her room was Cam the Stitcher. Cam the Stitcher literally lives, I think, like 10 minutes down the road from me. Yep, we had to drive 10 hours to meet in person. But she was also the cutest little doll face. And so I can't wait. We're we're making a point right now, Cam. I'm putting it out there. We're going to stitch in person in real life, like stat. Um, but it was just so lovely to see all those things. And of course, all of Kathy's releases were gorgeous and beautiful. Hmm. So we just ventured around and like I said, found some things for the box and saw some things and did the things. Um, but I had to go and visit my friend Leanne from Forbidden Fiber Co. Now you saw I've kitted up Liz's, the pinks that were in there were Forbidden Fiber Co. Gorgeous hand dyed cotton floss. And we have worked together twice. She was in the July box with custom colors. And then she was also in the event box and she worked with me and Liz. And we came up with that beautiful fa la 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 chart. So I love Leanne. Um, we worked great last year together. I'm not going to spoil anything, but maybe there's something coming up. I just I, I love everything about her business model. It's a family business down in Tennessee. She was so sweet. So it was lovely to see all of her. She has gorgeous fabrics. She has linens and Ada's from you know 14 to 20 and then from 28 to I think 46 she's doing 46 now girlfriend like I don't think she's gotten into 56 but runs the gamut she's very colorful um lots of uh, she has a couple sampler type colors but mainly like if you want to pick like a pink fabric I should have looked there for a pink fabric for Sylvia's Hannah Anyway, gorgeous things, but she was so sweet. <gasps> Look at her. So we hugged in person. It was just lovely to, you know, connect a face with the name. She was busy working, so it wasn't like a lot of chit chatty time, but she was so sweet and she knew that I was getting into yarn and so she brought me one of her hand dyes. So her business started as yarn dyeing. She's got yarn dyeing clubs and all the things. I will link her down below. Check it out. Beautiful stuff. But look at this. Of course, does she know? Yes, she does. So this is called Pride. This is her Superwash Merino. 70%, um, 20%, and then 10% Stellina because everything's better with a little sparkle. Yes, ma'am, it is. This is her fingering weight. I can't wait. How fun would that be to have a pair of sparkle socks? So, you know, I'm going to get to socks one day. So while I was in there, she had two helpers that she brought with her friends. I mean, that's what this is. It's just friends and community and things. And so in there was Zan from Crazy Band Lady and Sarah from Memphis Sarah E. So I got to see and chit chat with both of them. Gorgeous, beautiful people. Um, Zan is doing my beanie along. So she brought her beanie progress. She was actually knitting when I saw her down in the lobby the, um, when we first, one night we saw each other. Our first, our first sighting, she was actually knitting on her beanie. So it was fantastic. It's gorgeous. She's a total newbie, newbie knitter and her beanie is so, so beautiful. I can't wait. I don't know how often she's going to need a beanie in Tennessee. I mean, it was a little chilly one day, but she, the sweet, kind heart soul that she is brought me, sorry, she goes antiquing, estate sailing, yard sa Listen, I mean, look at that. She's like, I just saw these things and knew that my friend Tiger Lily needed them. Is she not the sweetest? I mean, I went to market and I came home with sweet, sweet. Okay, but look at this. Is that not the sweetest? So there were a couple quilt blocks with the Sue bonnet, different little bonnet girls on there, all hand stitched. Oh, I mean, look at that girl. 
She is a Southern Belle if I have ever seen one. And then there's a rose. So it was just beautiful. Oh, look at this bell. Look at this bell. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I love vintage stitching. I just love it. I can't wait to find the perfect coordinating fabrics to pair with some of these things. I mean, look, look at these daisies. Look at these pink, pink daisies. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love them. So that's not cross stitch, but it's just, oh my goodness. We didn't even look at it all because we were just standing there and like, you know, we, in Leanne's room, she was trying to sell some fabric. Look at the strawberries. How sweet would that be as a little strawberry keeper? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is true cross stitch. <gasps> it's a little flower basket. So sweet. So Zan, thank you so much. You were so kind and thoughtful to bring that to me. I can't wait to make these into some keepers. And last but not least, some of the other, I have three more charts to show with you because I just had to go and visit my friends, Beth and Rebecca from my sister's sampler. You know, Miss Ann, she's my birthday star. She's my birthday girl. So we had already chatted, kind of met um, via the interwebs. and But we actually ran into each other on the streets of Franklin before the market. So it was just super fun. But they are just the sweetest sisters. Love them to pieces. I can't wait to see them again one day. Are they coming to Stitch Chronicle? I don't know. I'll have to talk to them. But it was so fun. And I got to see Anne in real life and see all their new stuff. Now, I I told them I had saw some of their releases. And I was like, some of those other things are kind of like speaking to Tiger Lily. So, of course, I did have to grab a couple of the charts from them because they just spoke my name. I'm not quite sure when they're going to stitch them, but it's great to add to my collection. And so they were so sweet. This is Catherine Terry, age nine. Look at that gorgeous. Okay, this funky bird. Oh, there's another funky bird. I love a funky bird. But look in the pink. Um, I don't know what blossoms those are, but gorgeous. And it's just super colorful and fantastic. She's charted these are charted in DMCs. So that's fantastic. This was the other funky bird. Oh, look at that little chunky fat puzzle piece. I'm not even quite sure, but the border, and I just love a rainbow alphabet. So this is Sarah Ann Beecham, no year on that one, but it's so, so sweet. Loved it. And then last but not least, this is the one I saw on their mark. I was like, oh, yes. Now, whether I stitch her as one big girl or whether I take out a pop of motif and make it into a small or a pillow or an exchange, I'm not quite sure. But you know, those bright, bright colors just spoke to me. And, and they had a Gloriana silk pack in there. So I treated, I, I, I splurged and got the Gloriana silk pack. Um, to stitch this. Now it is stitched on 40 count, 46 count with the Gloriana. I told her that I'm going to use 36 and we're going to test to see if the pack gets me there. But I loved it. I love it so much. Look at the sweet trees and the birds and the funky florals. This is just one of those ones where you finish a motif and you're good to go. How big is it? I don't, let me see if I can tell you. 267 by 370. That's no joke too. <laughs> That's a big girl for reals. So it was so sweet to meet Beth and Rebecca in person. Loved it. Loved chatting with them and just connecting all the things together. So last but not least, so we knew, Shelly and I knew that our sweet friend Christy from Boss Boss and Cousins was going to be down in the area at a retreat. There's a shop, a thing that has like a stitching weekend at a hotel down around the corner from Market, which I think was fantastic timing, really. But so we met up with Christy, and I just have to show you what that sweet girl, her and her friend Holly Ho, first of all, if you watch Christy and Floss Boss and Cousins, you know that she talks about Holly Ho all the time. And I was like, I feel like I know you already met her. We sat there and talked for uh, for uh, quite a while. It was so fun to be able to catch up like again with people in person. But that sweetie pie brought me and Shelly both. They stopped on their way in from Alabama, come up to Tennessee, went to the Amish market. 
look at this. Is this not gorgeous? This is my first ever Amish basket. I, I do not live in an area where there's Amish country anywhere near me. Um, so I've never, and she was like, look, they signed, <gasps> I was, I, I mean, it says Moses A something or other. It's got his address, age 13, 2023. Is that not the cutest thing ever? And I just want you to know, hold on, let me find it. Like Chrissy knew exactly what she was doing. In case you didn't know, I make keepers, right? And and I don't have a bass. Most baskets aren't really. Did she custom make this? Because this, this is perfect. Like I could have my whole library. I mean, that'd be a lot of stitching. This, this basket is perfect. Perfection, custom made for a keeper library. I was floored. I love it so much. I had to wait patiently to show it to you. And now I'm going to fill it up with all of my project library, project keepers, and it's going to be beautiful. And then even when I don't stitch, I can at least just look at my pretty basket and all my keepers and know that they're there waiting patiently for me. <laughs> One day I will stitch again. No, I am stitching. I, I do try to stitch every night. Um, just catching up on all the work. All right. So let me run through my list. I do have notes over here, which is what I'm looking at. I think that's what I've got for you guys. I know not a lot of stitching, not a lot of, I didn't, I take, did take some pictures. If I've thrown them in, I threw them in. If I put them at the end, I put them at the, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. This was just like spur of the moment type putting it together. But my market was fantastic. My favorite part was seeing all my friends, being with my friends and just doing that and, and seeing it all and being it all and just amazed at the kindness and happiness and joy that exudes this community. That's all there is to that. I met so many other, uh, lots of lovely designers. I'm not gonna, you know, it was, it was overwhelming. So many lovely people, so many. Everyone was just beautiful and lovely and kind and happy and happy. That, lots of laughing, lots of fun, lots of all the things. That's what I've got for you guys. So that's my market story. If you haven't watched, no, I have watched some market recaps and Elizabeth Ann did a fantastic vlog. So see some of the things. Um, Tara from Sully Stitches was a beautiful, like she should have been the official photographer of all the things. She was photographing it looks like every room that she like that was there it was fantastic. So if you want to see it, Tara has probably taken a picture of it. So check out her um her Instagram as well as she has a recap video already out. I'm trying to think of anybody else's recap I've already watched that are fantastic. Lots of people have done it. It was fantastic. Love everything about this world that we are in. So friends, until next time, I hope you have happy quilting, happy knitting, happy hooking, happy making all the things. And I will see you next week, friends. Happy stitching.